Welcome back to Blah, Random Work Reviews. We have a shoe eraser from Dollar Tree and some action figures I picked up from the thrift store. We have Ember Moon, aka Athena, uh, in here, along with uh, Paul Orndorff. So, I'm a big Ember Moon fan, who is now Athena, who does not have a current action figure through AEW, which is very dumb, since she's been ROH champ for, like, over a year now, and a defending champ. This does not want to cut. All right, so let's cut through here. All right, so I noticed they had a mark on here. And I was always curious about these shoe erasers, if they would, like, be able to clean stuff like that off action figures. Uh, this looks like, I don't know, it might be an elite Paul Orndorff. Got the Mr. Wonderful back there. Uh, got the, what do you call this? chest articulation. Now this guy's in good shape. <laughs> I guess literally he was as well. Alright, uh, cool. So I got Paul Orndorff, uh, but the point was to grab this Ember Moon, aka Athena. It was also out of package, which is nice to have one in box, or on card I should say. Uh, they have her extra gear here when she came back to like NXT. So legs do move, standard joints. Uh, but let's see if we can get that blemish off there. That scratch with one of these. I don't think it's going to work, but it might. Uh, we got to read instructions. Use gently and add plenty of water. Too much pressure decreases cleaning power. Got our little sponge. I guess I got the kind of the Brillo side, I guess. So, white side, gently buff out the marks. Orange side, rub midsoles to remove dirt and grime. Yeah, okay. So, no idea really how to do this. We're just going to submerge the whole sponge. Well, I guess not the whole sponge. We'll do like this. Okay. This is really big. This is a small spot. Um, all right. Let's see if we can just get barely in there. It's closer. They did a good job on this action figure. Like her face and her hair. That's pretty cool. Um, let's down. Let's see if it's going to come off. This might be like a deep scratch. So I might just take the paint, more paint off, but we'll see. I don't think it's doing anything. It's also kind of hard at this angle. And this is made for shoes, so. covered up by water, you know, the water, so you can't see it. Oh, well. Okay. Now, I'm not going to, like, overly recommend this, because I, I don't know if it's, like, damaging or not. To your action figure, this was a thrift store find, so this is a cheap experiment. So if you have, like, a an Elise or a super expensive action figure, you may know a better way, but I always saw these. I was like, I wonder. Oh, I wonder. This will work. It looks like it does. Look at that. That white scratch is gone. It's used in really good condition. Other than that, that was the only thing that was kind of sticking out because it was like a white scratch. So, the contrast. Um, yeah, so it was right there. It's gone. She so has a. Uh, one on the forearm here. Let's well, we'll see if we can get that one off too, right? Let's see. A little water. Let's 
And it's always hard to tell if it's like a deepened scratch or just a scuff. So this thing looks like it's great for scuff marks. That is also now gone. Well, for the most part. So I'm going to bring in things like dry. Uh, let's see, anything hanging around now. Any scuffs on the back to take care of? No. Orndorff, yeah, it actually doesn't have any scuffs. Okay, so this might be a solution for me since I buy like, a lot of used action figures here and there. So we have a scuff, a shoe eraser, looks to, uh, uh, looks, there we go, see, that's why I figured you have to wait till it dries, so it's still there, right, still kind of see it, it's definitely less than it was, and I, I think I'll probably be able to get the rest of it out, um, it's hard to like see exactly where it is right in the over here. So yeah, you gotta wait till it dries. Maybe have a little dry on hand. I don't know why I don't have any paper towels for when I was gonna do this, but I don't. Uh, let me go grab a paper towel. That way it's quicker. All right. Got a paper towel here, let's dry it off. Got a forearm off. So it's still there, but way, way less noticeable. Like I think if it's down here, you don't see it at all. So, so not the perfect solution, but it did help. And uh, I mean, uh, I'm, Try not to get the black part of her upper gear, so that's why that's kind of still there, I think, because I don't want to rub off any paint, which I think will make it look worse. You know, like at a distance, you can't see it at all. The forearm looks like it's fixed. I don't see anything else to clean up. And he had he's pretty intact all around. All right. So that is the shoe eraser cleaner uh, action figure that works decently. I think I probably could get the rest off. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Smash that like button, hit subscribe. Do appreciate it. Thanks.